What's up, Diabetes family? It's your boy, Percy Robinson, coming at you with another smash hit video. If you are new here, I wanna be the first one to say welcome to the Diabetes family. And also, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the bell, so you know every time I drop a video each week. So today, I just made something quick and easy. This video and this episode is for my quick and easy folks that don't really like to be in the kitchen but wanna make something that's so magnificent and beautiful and tastes amazing. You feel me? <laughs> but this episode is for you guys. This is basically I store bought everything. I didn't make anything from scratch because I know you guys are on the go, so this is for you. I made some vegan nachos, and I know on several episodes ago, I've made several versions of vegan nachos, but these vegan nachos are on hit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first time trying this. I did this little number right here. This is a vegan uh, meat crumbles. This is gonna be my first time trying it, so um, I added these also to the nachos. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get to the video. So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, and I'll see you on the other side. Holla at ya, boy. Roll the intro. Okay, Diabetes family, welcome back to another edition of Diabetes Kitchen. So what you see right now is a contraption I am using that my daughter bought me for my birthday. Thank you, Eliana, I appreciate this gift. It makes chopping up these vegetables so much easier. But anyways, we are going to chop up all of our vegetables that you see on this plate. We have our red bell peppers. We have our green bell peppers. We have our onions, jalapeno peppers, and tomatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the veins out of our green bell peppers. I mean, you guys seen my videos before, you know how I do. But now I'm going to add each piece into this contraption and just cut it just like this. And no, I am not going to go through this whole process with all of these vegetables. I just wanted to show off and show you guys how it works. Yeah, feel me. I'll leave the link below to show you where you can get it. So now we have our cilantro. What we're gonna do with our cilantro, you already know because you've seen my videos where I do make my pico de gallo super fresh and super good. So some of my videos where I, I do break down the pico de gallos, but I just want you guys to notice that the colors that are, that are on this counter right now, I do this on purpose. Um, colors are very important when it comes to the the glow in your skin and the functionality in your organs this is why it's very important to put these types of vegetables in your body on a daily basis so as you can see right now I'm just I added my onions my fresh cilantro my tomatoes and my peppers and then I'm just mixing everything around in a bowl and I'm going to set it to the side but before I set it to the side I'm going to add my chili lime spice I will leave the link where to get it below but yes this chili lime spice is the thing to do so now what I'm going to do is I have my skillet and I have my my vegan meat crumbles there it is right there and if you want to know where to get it I will leave the link below but this is something I was kind of on the fence about I don't really I'm not really an advocate for these types of meat I'm a fresh food whole food type of guy but I just seen this on on the counter and I just wanted to try it out um, I'm not gonna make a habit of it and I don't think you guys should make a habit of doing this but if this will satisfy your meat cravings then go right ahead but just don't make a habit for it so what I'm doing is I am just crumbling everything up making sure it is already heated um, on the instructions it's already ready cooked but I'm just warming this up 
um, and I'm going to give it a nice crisp to it, give it a nice texture as I um, stir this around in the pot. Once everything is all done, I'm going to add it to a bowl. And at this point, I'm getting ready for my nachos, which is right now. So I'm adding some regular corn chips, but you know me, I got to be super extra. Um, I am going to add a different color. Not because, you know, it's any type of health reasons or anything like that. I just want to be super extra and add some blue chips on there, you know, because it looks good on camera. You feel me? So I'm going to add this vegan cheese sauce and I'm just, I just warmed it up in a pot and I'm just pouring it over the chips just like that. And what I'm going to do is just like what we always do when we make nachos, but I'm going to put some pinto beans in there, sprinkle it all over with a nice layer. And then I'm going to put some black beans, sprinkle that over. You guys, it's already starting to look good. I'm going to add the freshly cooked, um, is it called vegan meat? I guess this, um, imita I'm going to just say imitation meat. I'm going to put this on top. And then I'm going to sprinkle my shredded vegan cheese. This is actually my favorite brand and I'll leave the link below where you can get that as well. So I went with the, um, with the mozzarella and I went with the cheddar. And now I'm adding the bell peppers. Look at the beautiful colors of the bell peppers. I mean, man, if you guys don't try this, I don't know what's wrong with you. I made this recipe simple and easy just for you guys. So I'm adding my onions and then I'm going with another layer of my black beans followed by my pinto beans. Now that we got everything that we need on these chips, we are going to set the oven to 350 and put it in the oven for five to 10 minutes. And voila, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are all done, but we're not just done yet. Remember that pico de gallo that I was making earlier? Yes, we're gonna put that on top, just like that, just like that there. Now I know some of you are going to say, Percy, where's the sour cream? Where's the guacamole? Well, I don't really eat sour cream or guacamole, but if you wanna add that, go right ahead, go right ahead. This recipe is very versatile and I encourage you to explore your culinary arts the best way you can. And when you do, hit me up on IG, hit me up on Twitter, wherever message me and show me your progress because i am very interested in seeing how you guys did with these delicious nachos i'll leave the link below and just like that ladies and gentlemen we are all done i would like to thank each and every one of you for taking the time and watching my videos please stay tuned for my final thought and i'm out peace Welcome back, Diabetes family. Welcome back, baby. So, wasn't that video amazing? But anyways, here is the final product. Let me see if I can lift this up. Yo, look at that. And no, I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. I do have family members that are going to be chowing down on this, but look how beautiful this is. Look at the colors. I mean, colors inside your body is so important. It gives you this beautiful, wonderful, amazing skin. So let me go ahead and try some. I'm actually gonna get a plate. Give me one second. Okay, guys, I mean, it's a little plate right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste test. Let me get some with a little.
guys, I'm gonna put a link below on all the ingredients. If you don't have access to it, I'm pretty sure Amazon has access to it. I'll leave those links below. But these nachos are off the hook. I mean, look at that. These are so good, I'm about to end this video right now. The cheese sauce is vegan. The actual cheese is vegan. I use the meat crumbles. I use, I made my own pico de gallo. But you guys really have to try this recipe. It is off the hook and I mean, I'm, I'm, I need to go on for another bite. It was calling me, I'm sorry. So, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna finish smashing this food real quick. But I'm gonna end on this note. If you eat good, you live good, and you feel good. And don't forget to tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Holla at ya, boy. Peace.